Hey everyone, today we're gonna to be talking about the brand new encoder page in Blackout 2.4. Now this is a big update for us. We debuted it at Cinegear, and as you probably already know, we also launched the Astera integration. I'm not gonna cover that here because Jeff made a great full walkthrough, so check his video out. The link will be in the description. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about the other feature we introduced, which is the brand new encoder page and Stream Deck integration. So we're here in Blackout, and you'll see down at the bottom, I have the brand new encoders tab. The encoder tab is available if you've purchased the MIDI upgrade, which is available for both our subscription users and our perpetual license users as an additional add-on. So once you've purchased the MIDI add-on, you'll see your encoder tab down here at the bottom. I can click on it and I'm taken to this blank encoder page. And here you can set up per parameter encoder so you can grab one fixture or multiple fixtures and adjust the same parameter on all of them. So here's how to set that up. I can come up here and click edit and you'll see all the encoders change and allow me to pick their parameter. So I'll come over here to the first one and make this intensity. I'll come over to this one and make a color temperature. I'll come over to this one, I'll make a crossfade. And I'll come over to this one and make it tint. That's all I need for now, so I'll go ahead and click save. And if you look at the top, we also have pages in our encoders tab, just like in the faders tab. So here you can have up to 100 available encoders. If I click in the center of an encoder, I can change it from fine, super fine, and coarse. Definitely like to keep color temperature on coarse. So you can select different adjustment levels for different encoders. At the bottom, you can send an encoder to its minimum, its maximum, and its home. And of course, all of these buttons are MIDI learnable. Pro tip, but you can actually MIDI learn the MIDI learn button. So it makes mapping out your encoders even faster because with the click of a button, I can be in MIDI learn mode. To set that up, go into link status, connect to device, and click MIDI learn. And you'll see I can click MIDI learn again to map it. I have it mapped to my stream deck, which I'll show you in a minute. So now that I'm in MIDI learn, all I have to do is click on an encoder and then I just have to twist an infinite encoder on my MIDI device that I want to map there. If I click in the center, I can map the adjustment level as well as the minimum, home, and max buttons. Now back in the fixture page, all I have to do is grab a bunch of fixtures. And as I move the encoder, the intensity changes. Of course, this works for tint and color temperature. You'll also see at the top of each encoder, it gives you a readout of the level you set. So that's the encoder page. Let's check out this other tab for our Stream Deck. Stream Decks come with a USB-A plug, so you'll need a hub that has a USB-A port to plug into your iPad. The first time you connect your Stream Deck, you'll need to go to the App Store and you'll need to download SD Connect. All you have to do is open the app and follow the prompts. And then once you've set that up, you just need to keep SD Connect on your iPad and you never have to do anything with it again. You never have to open it again. You just have to allow the permissions once and then you're done. Now back in Blackout in the Stream Deck page, this is where we can configure how the buttons look right in Blackout. So you'll see I already have mine set up, but you can just click on a button. You can change the background to any color you want. You can click here and change it to an icon and you can even give icons colors. So I don't know, we'll make that blue. And then down here, you can change the text. And then up here, you can change the text color. Once you've set up the appearance of the buttons the way you want, all you have to do is press MIDI learn and learn the buttons to whatever you want them to correspond to. So here I can click a macro and learn it right to the Stream Deck. Coming soon are Stream Deck pages and support for different models of Stream Deck. That's pretty much it. Not a lot of explaining to do because it's so intuitive and easy to set up the Stream Deck and your encoders page. If you like using hardware with Blackout, you're going to love this update. As always, let me know in the comments what you want to see more of, and I'll see you next time.